Good afternoon, you guys. It is the 4th of February, a Tuesday. Ooh, the FedEx is here. What happened? That means probably my package -o is probably here. And it is super windy today. Oh, it's Freddy cold. has his first practice. I don't know how they're going to practice if it's so freaking windy. The ball is going to go everywhere. Hey, so about me. Here, Saishas. Because it's cold. I like a light. What did I tell you about standing on the bed? I know what like, I was doing out there playing outside. Okay, so let me show you what I got from Ross yesterday. They're super cute. They were on clearance from, I think, $20 down to $5. And I was waiting for them to get like on clearance because nobody was buying them and there's two of them. So I was thinking that in the next couple of weeks or a couple of months, I'm going to try and transition Ari into a toddler bed because she tends to hug my face and get on my like neck when I'm sleeping. <laughs> and I dream like if I'm dying. So <laughs> I'm going to transition this little corner right here for her. You guys see it's like a little corner and such where all her clothes is at. I'm going to make that less big so her toddler bed could be right there. So let me just show you what I got. Okay, so I got this first thing. So I could put her like baby pictures. They show you like ideas and stuff. And it's so cute with the little pom-poms. But one of the little hangers was broken. It still comes with I think four extra hangers. And the original price was $12.99. But they gave me um, a percentage off. So this was around $9.89. So that's really good. And I love it because it's white. And when we move out or they have their own bedrooms, I'm planning for her room to be like cream or white with pink. So that is super cute. And this is a thing that I was telling you guys about. It's a color changing light. It's a unicorn. So it goes with the whole pink theme. Princessy. It's from Joa? I don't know. And Belle. And it was funny because her middle name is Belle. And yeah, $4.99. Really cute. And I think this is like um that really fragile stuff that could break. So I bought two. This one is going to be for like her nightstand. And then the other one I'm going to try and put it somewhere around there. And I'm probably going to do all this transitioning during like the springtime. So she's going to have less clothes to hang up since this is her stands right here she has a since she has a whole bunch of clothes right here like dresses and then a couple of coats and then long sleeves and sweaters so she has a lot basically what i'm trying to say and i'm gonna try and reduce that to like either half and like move this chair that we have here my little stance i'm gonna remove that remove this which she sleeps on this side over here because of this right here so she doesn't fall and then I'm in the middle, and then it's Freddy. So, yes, that's what I'm going to try and change. And I also bought this. I don't think you guys remember. I bought this, like, a long time ago, like, almost six months. And they already dirtied it. I just opened it yesterday, and it's, like, a container. But this is, like, squishy enough so they could sit. So, yeah. Till I get up Time is barely on our side I don't wanna waste what's left The storms we chase are leading us And love is all we'll ever trust Yeah, No, I don't wanna waste what's left And on and on we'll go Through the wastelands, through the highways Till my shadow Turns the sun rays and on and on we'll go through the wastelands, through the highways and on and on. We'll okay, guys, so I was right about the FedEx truck passing by and them delivering my package, but it says that they delivered my package but it's not even in the mailbox and i didn't even see it stop by it just passed by and went to the cul-de-sac and just passed by 
so I think they deliver it to like one of my neighbors to the left of me because it clearly says right here that they delivered it already and I tried to send a message but they're not gonna respond back I'm just hoping <laughs> that my neighbors send me my package back like bring it back or <laughs> I clearly don't want to go like door to door peek into their door and see if they have my package so I'm just gonna wait um until like six ish since that's the time around people get off work and see if like somebody realizes that they have a package and it's not theirs because it clearly says I checked the what's it called the mailing address and stuff and it's this mailing address it's my mailing address so Come on, brother. <laughs> brother. <laughs> good afternoon you guys it is Thursday and I'm here cleaning up it is really late in the day it's 2 22 Freddy is running and I'm cleaning up the room sweeping and doing all that and I'm and Aisha slash playroom he doesn't sleep here anymore he likes sleeping on the couch which turns into a bed so yeah we just have the mattress here for anytime that we come into a playroom they like sitting here laying down and watching TV we want to keep it just in case later on when we move out we're gonna make his bed and we just need to buy one more mattress for Ari so I'm gonna clean up here while he's over there I'm gonna kick him out right now and yeah Mom. Okay, you guys, so Freddie just left with Aisha to practice. I ended up finishing and rearranging the playroom slash comfiness. Playroom, I guess. Um, and I already just took a poop. I smell it. Oh, goodness gracious. Okay, so this is how it looks now. The entrance, I think I messed up because it looks crowded. So let me show you how the entrance looks. Does it look crowded? I don't know. I took off the toy that was be like behind here and I put it in the closet. But it looks like this now. I left that there. I put that there. But I think I'm going to get rid of this. And tell Aisha to get rid of a whole bunch of toys that he doesn't use. And there's a basket of toys over here. The bed. There's nothing in that corner because I put the bookshelf right here. Because at night, they like reading they want me to read to them so instead of them coming and being like I can't see I don't want to go inside the room they just open the door and the books are right here and I wiped it down took some of the stuffed animals that were down here to put the stuff from the little kitchen I'm thinking of getting them a better kitchen because they seem to fight a lot over this one because only like practically one fits on them so you could tell I put the food in one and then the dishes and all that and the other and then that's there and the chair I don't know it looks better in a way like it moves better but at the same time the entrance seems kind of crowded like I was saying I want to get rid of a, like a lot of things before um, spring or summer comes because I think I'm getting ahead of myself but I don't know what's gonna happen when we 
when the time comes that we have to decide whether to stay or move so i don't want to take a whole bunch of things that we don't use especially the kids they don't seem to play with their actual toys like are he's just staring at the box right now basically she just likes doing mess so i don't know hey none of hey. No, don't you dare. Oh, oh good job. Do not sit down. Gee. Come here. Wait, let go. Let's go somewhere else. Good afternoon you guys. I'm looking a little bit roughed up but we just finished eating breakfast and it's around like I think it's like one-ish. So today I've decided that I'm going to clean, wash the car, clean it from the inside and sweep the garage because there's like a lot of dirt. So, so now I have to get the things from like the soap and stuff. I can wash it. I'm going to use this one. And that car really needs a good clean because I think I haven't washed it in like two months and there's some like white spots on top of it that need to be cleaned like really bad so yeah that's what I'm gonna do today if I have time I'm gonna go return some things like the order from Carter's I didn't like the dress that she was gonna wear for um Easter and I found another one yesterday in TJ Maxx so I got that one and it's pink so yeah, let me just start doing this because there's still shade right here and I need that shade. So I am recording on my phone today because oh, what is that? Because I forgot my camera today, and it is Saturday. I don't know the day, but I'm here with Aisha's and Ari's asleep. My mom is with us too, but she just went out to make a payment, and we're just waiting for her in the car. And yeah, Aisha's had an accident in Macy's today, and. He messes around too much. He held on to one of the shoe rack things that are just like floating supposedly. And it went back, hit his head. I have no idea how he hit his foot, but he has something in his foot. But he ate some goldfishes and he's okay. Are you okay, Aishas? Or does your head hurt? No, you're fine? <sighs> but yeah, it's really good weather today is not that hot it's not too cold and i'm loving this headband that my mom got for me it is from torrid i love their accessories i was planning to get some what's it called sunglasses but i'm gonna wait until it's on sale because they are originally like 15 dollars and for a pair of glasses that i'm probably gonna lose or scratch um i'm gonna wait until they're on sale so I'll update you guys later. Cheese! Hi guys, it is Sunday the 10th. Oh, and here comes Aisha's because he hears us talk. Oh yeah. We got to the prank right there. Right there. Oh wait, oh my God, all of them. I didn't know that. Okay, so yeah, it is Sunday the 10th. 10th, I think. I'm not sure, but it is the first Sunday. I think. No, it's not the first Sunday. Um, We're just here, chilling. It is like 2, but we just came to the playroom slash... I don't know. And I'm here with Ari and Aishas, and we're watching um, Incredible 2. And the weather outside is like cold. 
and it's like the best weather. I love this weather. People might hate it, but I freaking love it. I love when it's like cold, windy, and like kind of sprinkling, but not raining. Like before, I used to love like taking walks around this weather because it feels so good and you never get hot. But with kids, it's like it's, it's impossible. Yes. Okay, good I know you buy that. I love you. Mommy, carry you? There. Ready. One, One, two, three. Jump. Jump! Oh, Lord. Good afternoon, you guys. It is Tuesday. And I wanted to tell you guys what happened yesterday. So, it was around 11-ish that i felt kind of weird so i went to the restroom i wiped and there was blood and mind you i have not had a period for more than two and a half years of course i bled during um ari's thing but the recovery was like fine i guess that i remember yes yeah, sorry so that happened and I went to go look for my mother-in-law. She wasn't around and I went downstairs and I went to the kitchen and I was feeling kind of weird, like dizzy. So I tried to lean back towards the cabinets. So I was leaning towards the cabinets and like I felt like I was going to collapse and I did. I fainted. I blacked out and then like when I came to like a little bit of reasoning I straight up like I still had my eyes closed I'm like Aisha's get your dad I'm like Aisha's get your dad I think I said it like twice and then all I hear is is like saying him okay and then he left and then I blacked out again and I woke up to Freddie shaking me and calling my name and like I tried so hard to open my eyes that I like felt them shaking and when I finally did I was just like okay like I'm coming back to reasoning I guess but then I felt like I was sweating like I was sweating a lot I was in a like a pool of sweat and before that Freddie said that he didn't believe I just I just told Freddie that I was dead on the floor and he was gonna put him something on the TV. He didn't like really understand what he was saying, I guess, until he was like, "No, you need to come, come, dad, come downstairs, dad. Mom is on the floor, and I think she's dead." I was just like, "Oh God, I, I think I scared the crap out of him." So after he woke me up, and like I was just like, "You know what? I'm gonna stand up because I'm feeling supposedly okay according to me." But when I stand up. 20 seconds later, I felt it again, and I couldn't see. I started like losing my vision, and I was like on the verge of collapsing again. And I'm like, you know what? Put me down, because you're not gonna be able to hold me. I'm gonna go down. So he put me down gently, and I was like fading in and out. And the next thing I knew is him trying to carry me to the couch next to the door, and he apparently called the 911. The firefighters came. They put some patches on me. I don't think you guys could tell. Because I still have them. I have like um, the residue kind of like burnt of the little patches that they had on me. And so they put that. And I didn't even notice that they put those, but they put one in one and then one on my arm. So they put one, one, and then one on my arm right here and then the other one on this arm and they were just asking me questions and i was still trying to open my eyes because they felt heavy i felt like nauseous and weak and they're like okay like what's your birthday what's your name like do you prefer any um hospital to go to and i'm the kind of person that does not want to go to the hospital 
and I was just like, you know what, could I talk to my husband? He's like, okay, we'll talk to him. And I was just like, okay, like, all right. And I was just still trying to like look down and see what was going on, how many people were in the house. And oh no. So Freddy comes back and he's all like, oh, do you want to go? And I was just like, I lied to him. I'm all like, you know what? We'll go, but we'll go by ourselves. Like, we'll figure something out and then he'll take me. That's what we told the firefighters. I didn't want to go, so we didn't end up going. And, like, I don't know. I think it's, I'm hoping it's just my period that hit me freaking hard as hell. Because, if it's not, I don't know what it is. So, throughout the whole day yesterday, as you guys know, he has class. And he was, like, really worried that I would have passed out. And I'm like, you know what, it's fine. I even exercised a little bit yesterday. I'm like, I can't go another day without exercising. So I need to do that. I'll drink a lot of water. I'll, like, get some vitamin C. <laughs> and that's what I did yesterday. It was so, like, weird. Like, thinking back to it, like, that feeling of that weakness. So, this morning, like, a couple, like, 30 minutes ago, I felt, like... You, if you're a girl you know that you, you probably feel the blood going down and that's what I felt right now so I was starting to feel weak and I'm all like I felt like the blood wasn't being contained on the pad basically TMI so I went to the restroom and while I was taking off my pants another TMI the blood just started gushing out just like gushing out and I'm all like oh shit okay so I was just sitting on the toilet for like the past five minutes is that even normal that's like a heavy set flow I guess it was just coming out and I'm all like you know I'm not even gonna tell Freddie I just told him you know what I'm just <laughs> sitting down here cuz I just wanted to come out <laughs> so that's what's happening and it's just I guess it's my period I'm hoping that it's just my period I haven't had any cramping, but I have had pains on my ovaries. Like, not the cramping pains, but just like something on the sides of your ovaries, if you get what I'm saying. So, I'm just feeling that. I haven't felt any like cramping. I do feel nauseous and cramping. Not cramping, just like weird sort of sensations in my ovaries. So, hopefully, fingers crossed, that is just my period. All right, so now, <laughs> now after that whole story that took like probably more than five minutes, I'm gonna start cleaning up the bedroom and yeah. Hi everybody, it is Thursday the 13th of February and we just came to Ari's doctor, but not really her doctor because she was full today. So we came to the other doctor that was there because she had this weird thing in her finger and it's well the the lady said that it's because she injured her finger and Freddy thought it was fungus because it looked yellow but the doctor the specialist said that it's not it's just an injury this is not all the way to the nail bed that the injured nail is actually hitting healing itself so I'm also here with Aisha's because Freddie had to go run before they go to practice. And little Bari's over there. But I gotta go practice without like tennis. But my gun, but my gun. So that literally just was like a 20 minute appointment. <laughs> it was so quick. So quick. So the appointment was at 1.45 and it's right now 2.07 and we've been out of there for like the past two minutes so uh, right. literally like 20 minute okay, appointment yeah, oh my god so ready went to go run i'm gonna go head back home and then just clean up a little bit like always and then when he comes back he's gonna go to practice with aishas and then we're gonna go to 
hopefully making these and get myself a coffee i've been craving a coffee for like the longest but we never have time before oh and today is happy hour so if you guys don't know happy hour from two to seven on starbucks and you get buy one get one free oh my god but yeah oh maybe we should get that one instead Careful, gently. It's still alive, Aisha. But why not? Gently, gently. Do watch it, Mama. Watch it. Oh, no, it's a vulnerable fly. I don't Where? like to get my home. My house. Look, Mamas. Oh, give her a sec. Hey, no, 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 no. Don't put it on there. Look, look, look. Uh uh. Oh! <laughs> Oh, he, he doing, pick it up. Wait, wait, Aisha. Oh. He climbed on me, how? He climbed on you? I think he likes you. Yeah, because I do gentle. You're gentle? That is so nice. Oh, you want to, I know how to do it, friend. But let's go. Let's go, go, come over here. Hey, eat the butterfly. No, okay. we're not going to let no bird eat the butterfly. <laughs> Careful, careful. I think he wings our stuff. What is this thing here? That's his booty. Hold on. 